So assembly of this toy windmill is pretty straightforward. Actually the part came like this. This is the blade, just push it onto the shaft here. And then this part here goes into this plastic housing here. Goes in like that. This would be the motor and I would have to fish the wire through this hole here and attach it to the terminals. And according to the diagram here, the terminal on the left is the positive, the terminal on the right is uh, the negative. So that's what I have to do because this is basically a toys for children so they probably don't want you to play around with a soldering iron okay but uh, this will make the connection more secure definitely so the collar snapped together like so and then you screw it down so it was very stiff before I guess if you press the pulley in all the way um, I guess the smaller pulley doesn't mesh too well with the bigger one it will not turn as well now it seems to turn okay so I think it's gonna work you still have to help it start Okay, I think you can see the glow. I'm going to turn out the light and you can see it better. Let me turn out the light. Okay, it is actually turning pretty well. Tail. That's the small motor. I forgot how many blades. This is six. Six blades. And the single red LED. A nice little toy. I bet it can even power a small radio. Put the windmill on top of a bottle filled with water. So you can see the coloring effect when the windmill is spinning up. Pretty cool, huh? By the way, I made a small adaptation to my ceiling fan. This is a solar ceiling fan. I use a small 5 volt solar panel, about 250 MA. And I was using this blade before, the styro. Um, this is like a corrugated plastic. Now I put this 99 cents windmill blade on it so I can either use solar power or I plug it into my USB and it spins up and it actually moves quite a bit of air so you get a bit of air circulation So in the daytime, it'll run by 
solar power. I have a solar panel. I have a solar panel, a couple of solar panels over there. And at night, if I want to plug it in, I plug it into USB. Uses very little power, about 0.5 watt, less than half of, less than one watt. A lot of times these computer fans they use like three watts or so. So this is half a watt. Pretty cool, huh?